Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video you should be able to calculate the percentage yield for a reaction. You should then be able to explain why the percentage yield may be less than 100% and this works only for the triple science students. In the last few videos we've been looking at chemical reactions and we've seen how to calculate the mass of products in a reaction if we're given the mass of reactants. We've seen questions such as this one. Calculate the mass of magnesium sulfate that could be produced using 48 grams of magnesium. Assume that the sulfuric acid is unlimited. I'd like you to pause the video and try this yourself. Now, if you had no idea where to start, then you need to watch my videos on calculating reacting masses before continuing with this video. Okay, from the large numbers in the equation, we can see that one mole of magnesium could produce one mole of magnesium sulfate. So first we calculate the number of moles of magnesium by dividing the mass we've been given by the relative atomic mass. We've been given 48 grams of magnesium and the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24. So this means that we're starting with two moles of magnesium. We know that one mole of magnesium could produce one mole of magnesium sulfate. We've got two moles of magnesium, so we could produce two moles of magnesium sulfate. To calculate the mass of that, we multiply the number of moles, which is two, by the relative formula mass of magnesium sulfate, which is 120. This gives us a final mass of 240 grams. So what we know is that starting with 48 grams of magnesium, we could make a maximum of 240 grams of the product magnesium sulfate. Now scientists call this 100% yield. For that to happen, every single atom of magnesium must react to form the product magnesium sulfate. In practice, it's not always possible to achieve 100% yield in a reaction. There are three reasons for this, and you need to learn them. Firstly, some of the product may be lost when it's separated from the reaction mixture. Secondly, some of the reactants may react in different ways to the expected reaction, so we don't get the product we expect. And finally, reversible reactions may not go to completion. We're going to look at reversible reactions in later videos. So in this video, we're looking at how to calculate the percentage yield for a reaction. Let's go back to our previous reaction. We know that 48 grams of magnesium can produce 240 grams of magnesium sulfate if we achieve 100% yield. Here's a typical question. A scientist reacted 48 grams of magnesium and produced 150 grams of magnesium sulfate. Calculate the percentage yield. So as we can see, the scientist did not achieve 100% yield. So how do we calculate the yield achieved? We use this equation. The percentage yield equals the mass of product actually made divided by the maximum theoretical mass of product multiplied by 100. The mass of product actually made was 150 grams and the maximum theoretical mass of product was 240 grams. Putting these numbers into the calculation gives us a percentage yield of 62.5% and that's our final answer. Now, sometimes students get these questions wrong, and the main reason is that they switch the calculation. So in this case, the correct answer is 62.5% yield. If we switch the calculation like this, then we can see that we achieve 160% yield. Now, the key thing you have to learn is that we cannot achieve greater than 100% yield. That would mean that we created atoms, and that's not possible. So in your answer, if you achieve greater than 100% yield, remember that you've switched your calculation. OK, in the next video, we're going to look at more questions on calculating percentage yield so you can practice and get them right every time.